Hey guys, welcome back. So this weekend, I thought I would try to move this carport. So this is kind of a big job. We're gonna, we're gonna relocate it down our driveway um, about 300 feet, and then we're gonna put it on top of this big concrete pad where a house used to be. We're gonna anchor it to that. It'll make a good foundation uh, for this carport. So we just basically need to get this moved somewhere that's, that's just a better location for it. And um, the problem is this thing isn't your normal carport. It's just awkward and big. Um, it's 15 and a half feet tall to the center of the carport at the top. Um, it's 31 feet long, it's 18 feet wide. So it's just this really large, awkward structure to try to move. And um, what we're gonna try to move it with is the tractor. So we're gonna actually try to put the tractor kinda inside the carport and we're gonna lift up on it and we're gonna try to skid it, kinda drag it and try to skid it down the driveway and try to get it in its new location. But before I do any of that, I'm afraid I'm going to tear it up because as soon as we try to move it, this thing's probably going to get all wonky and I'm afraid we'll bend something out of shape. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to brace this thing. We're trying to brace it as good as we can so that everything stays nice and straight and nothing gets torn up. So I actually had some 20 foot long boards in, in the barn. So I brought those over here. They're wide enough to go across that opening right here in the front and in the back. So we're, we've got long enough boards where we can actually cross brace the, the front of the, of the carport and the back opening of the carport as well. And then I've got some two by eights um, that I can put along the bottom of the front and that's what I'll be able to use to lift up with the tractor and help kind of push and drag the carport. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing all braced up real good so we don't tear it up. So I just got done putting all the bracing on the carport and you can see we've got cross bracing here on the front side of the carport and then we've got another set of cross bracing back on that back opening and uh, ended up putting a single brace on the left side and a single brace on the right side of the carport and I think the side braces are going to help as we try to move it because we're going to be, uh, you see this bottom board here on the front that's going across straight, that's where we're actually going to lift up on the carport and we're going to put force on that. We're either going to push or pull on that thing to drag that carport um, to its new location. So all the force we're applying is at the bottom. So I think the cross braces on the sides are just going to help kind of keep the top and the bottom straight and aligned as we move it and uh, kind of prevent us from bending anything up. So now that we've got bracing on all four sides of this carport, I think it's good enough to move. But the problem is, is the wind has picked up over the last couple hours, uh, quite a bit actually. So um, we just looked at the weather forecast and right now we have 22 mile an hour gusts of wind, which is 
just way too windy to even attempt trying to move this carport. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to walk away today. We're going to come back on a day where there's hardly any little wind and we're going to get this thing moved. And the first thing we'll do when we come back is we got to pull the anchors that's holding this carport down. There's actually, I think there's five anchors on each side that are driven into the ground, probably I think about three feet in the ground that's holding this carport down. So we'll have to come back, get those anchors pulled out and then hitch it up to the tractor and then start moving this thing to its new location. They bent it when they drove it in. It hit something and it went sideways. Maybe that's what happened. Oh. Yeah, completely bent. So I think we're finally ready to try to move the carport to the new location. So we've got all our anchors pulled out and uh, we got it all braced up the way we wanted to. And the first way we tried it is we tried it with a single board here on the front. And um, that single board was really too flimsy to be able to lift the carport. So we took the one off the backside, we moved it up here, we've doubled that up. And then that, it seemed to be strong enough we could lift the carport, but if you tried to use it to push the carport forward, it just took that, that board and it just bowed it out. It looked like we were gonna snap those boards. So we've decided that putting any force on these boards to try to move the carport is a bad idea. So what we've done is we've, we've decided to take the tractor. We originally had it on the inside of the carport. We've moved it to the, to the outside of the carport and we're gonna try to drag it. So we've got two chains. I've got a chain from the left side of the tractor and a chain from the right side of the tractor going back and grabbing a couple legs on the carport. And what we've done, we pull the tractor forward until those chains just start to drag the carport. And then we've got a rear set of forks on the tractor and we can lift um, those double boards there. We can lift that up and we can get the front of the carport up, you know, three or four inches um, just to help it skid across the ground. So, so the, the, the front boards are only going to get um, lifting force on them and the dragging is going to be all done with the chains. So I think that's going to be our best bet to try to get this to move. Um, 
you know, this is a lot of material that we just had laying around. We might be successful in, in doing it the way I planned if we had probably had maybe two by 12s and maybe even had like three or four of them all bolted here. And you might have been more successful at actually just lifting this up and, and moving it. But with the materials we have on hand and, and what we got, I think this is our best bet. So we are gonna try to drag this over to the driveway and then down the road. And probably our, in my opinion, the two diff biggest difficulties are gonna be, there's two culverts that go across the road. So on each side of those culverts, there's a big drop off and the carport's actually wider than the driveway. So the carport's probably gonna drop down in those culverts as we go to each one. And then Rebecca is afraid, she's afraid that turning the carport and trying to get it in its new location may be difficult as well. So that's the things that we're gonna face as we try to move the carport. So I'm gonna go ahead, fire the tractor back up and start seeing, um, seeing if we can get it to a new spot. This may be a complete failure, I don't know, but uh, we'll give it a shot, see how it goes. So we finally got the carport moved in its final spot. And this is the concrete pad back here that it's gonna to anchor to. And getting that moved from up front all the way back here did not go very well at all. Um, I think we only made it like 15, 20 feet before we ran into the first problem. So the problem was is the rear forks did not have enough lifting height to really manage the obstacles in the terrain. So we, we didn't make it very far before one of the corners just kind of jammed into the ground because we couldn't lift it high enough. So then we tried turning it around and lifting it with the front forks and then pulling it with the chains. And the front forks did way better. They could lift the, the carport up higher. But the problem was I had all the weight on the front of the tractor and then I would finally just spin out and lose traction. So that was very frustrating. Um, we ended up just kind of um, going back and forth between the rear forks and the front forks, back and forth, trying to move this thing. And finally I got fed up with it and I ended up putting um, the bush hog on the back of the tractor. That's going to give me a bunch of weight on the back, help balance everything out so I get better traction. 
And then finally I was able to lift it with the front forks and pull it without the wheels spinning. And then uh, after that, everything went fairly smoothly until we got to here. Now the problem is, is it doesn't want to turn for you. If you try to turn the tractor, it really doesn't want to follow you very well because you've got two chains and they're both wanting to pull evenly. So you almost either have to unhook one chain and just pull with one corner. And then the other problem is if you try to make a tight turn like this, as you're trying to make the rear end of the tractor go to the, you know, the right hand side, the front loader bucket is actually swinging to the left and going the opposite direction since it sticks out. And it's really hard to just kind of keep driving and to make a turn. So basically what we had to do is we had to just keep repositioning the tractor. We'd hook up to it and then we would try to turn it a little bit and it was just kept, you know, kept on repositioning the tractor, move it a little bit further. I got all, on and off that tractor like 50 times. So very frustrating, did not go real smooth. Um, as long as we were driving straight, everything went fine. Taking the corners didn't go so well. But finally we got it here and now we got to anchor it to the ground. So um, we did probably bend this up a little bit and it's not quite straight no more. So probably gonna anchor the far back corner and then from there we'll start straightening the one side and get it all anchored down and then the other side we'll try to get it all square and straight and anchor it down. So uh, that's what's next, getting, these, getting this anchored so it doesn't blow away on me. So the carport is now um, all straight on each side and we've got it all square to itself. And uh, that was really painstakingly time consuming to try to get that all right. Because after we moved it, nothing was straight. So the sides were like little snakes, you know, they were all bending and all out of whack. So we started in that back corner of right there and then we just kind of moved forward to each anchor and we adjusted that until that side was perfectly straight. And then after that, we moved to the other side. And of course, nothing wants to stay where you put it, right? So we ended up having to use a come along and kind of help squeeze the sides in so it was a perfectly 18 feet wide. And then after measuring diagonal and everything, this side needed to push back that way just a little bit. Finally got it all square where everything was the right width. And then we um, got this side over here anchored down. But that was just really time consuming and you know, it just nothing really wanted to work out for us, you know, having to go get a come along to hold everything together. Um, so once that was all done, we were just, we were done, you know, we were, we were ready for this to be over with. So we went back to the house and relaxed for about an hour to cool down. But uh, I'm glad it's all done and it's all, you know, anchored down to the concrete pad where I don't have to worry about uh, a storm blowing up and, and uh, tearing up this carport. So it's days like today and it's projects like this one where nothing goes right for you all day long. It's those kind of days that test that relationship with your spouse. So Rebecca, she showed up here this morning right when I was just getting the forks put on the tractor. And she, that's right at the beginning of the day and she helped me with this whole project all day long. She, she helped me pull anchors. She's helped me rig all this stuff. She helped me take the bracing on there and off, back on and off where we were trying to figure out how to, how to pull it. Um, and it's just been a long, hot, miserable day. It was like 90 degrees out today. And we were out here for nine hours in the heat, in the sun. And uh, she stuck with me through it all. But um, yeah, and I was definitely getting frustrated for sure. Cause nothing, I could not get that carport onto the driveway. Nothing was working at that point in time. So it definitely was a frustrating day for me, but she stuck, stuck it out with me all day long. And, uh, 
yeah, somehow at the end of the day, she still talks to me and she's not mad at me. So uh, we definitely have a good relationship. Um, and I put that relationship to a test on a regular basis. So I always have some screwed up project that doesn't go well. And if I need help, she's the person that helps me. She's my help. So she, she, she works with me quite a bit on these kind of things. And she keeps coming back for more. So luckily, um, you know, we have a good relationship and we get along pretty good. But she was definitely, at the end of the day, she was ready for this to be over with. She was ready, when that last anchor went in, she was ready, she was ready to quit and call it a day. And uh, she's happy it's over with. I'm happy it's over with. And uh, yeah, it's all anchored down. I don't have to worry about anything tearing it up. The wind come along, it should be fine. But uh, we'll come back another day and we will put some sides on this. We'll close in the sides. I was gonna put a wall in the backside but that's like, that's super tall. That's like 15 and a half feet to the peak. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of intimidating. I don't know if I want to build a wall up that tall or not. But I'll at least close the sides in. And uh, we'll wait and see whether I close the back wall in or not. But I just want to make a place that's pretty much out of the rain for our equipment to be able to be stored in. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for today, guys. It has been a long, miserable day. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys had a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.